<clears throat> so now we'll be installing um, the ESXi host on the um, VMware workstation, uh, which we are later going to add on um, the vCenter server. So we already have an image for ESXi 505. Um, we could next, uh, we select, we take the path again, um, virtualization, ESX, okay, and we name it to ESX1. Mm, we can use um, two processors again, uh, and we can increase the RAM up to um, say 16 gigs, right? Uh, we'll use um, the NAT network, uh, we'll, we'll change that later when we go to the settings. Um, we'll use the storage SCSI new virtual disk. Uh, we set the storage to 80 gig, uh, and we set it to split disk into multiple files so that um, the whole uh, allocation is not taken at initial level. Uh, it increases as it goes. So um, that is fine. And now, before you click on Finish, uh, click on the customized, uh, customized hardware. Uh, here you can go and select um, VMware 8 NAT, right? So we are set on that, and uh, I think we are good to go. So we click on Finish, and the ESXi host boots up. It's loading on all the settings, the configurations. It's going to take a couple of minutes to uh, get all the files and the plugins loaded up.
I'm uh, again going to pause the recording till it gets loaded. All right, so um, it has finally loaded up and uh, it's going to further um, do the installation uh, with this installer, ESXi 5.5 installer. Okay, so let's hit enter. We press F11 for accepting the license agreement. And um, then it's going to scan for the available devices, the storage and all that stuff. Um, yeah, US default keyboard. Password, we can set it to um, any value, right? Right, and once it matches, you can hit enter and um, we'll try to gather some more information from the system to complete the ASXI installation. Okay, so now it's going to, it's asking to press F11 to start the installation. And now it's installing um, ESXi 5.5. So, it's again gonna take a couple of minutes to um, get the installation completed. Okay, so um, the installation is completed and um, we'll now reboot the server. Um, so once the ESXi um, server um, or the host is rebooted, um, uh, since the IP is learned over DHCP, what we'll do is we'll configure that to a static IP. Um, we don't need it for the VS vCenter server, though it is recommended in the um, um, live production environments, but over here uh, we can run um, the vCenter server on the DHCP server um, uh, based IP, right? So um, we'll assign a static IP, uh, um, and once that is done, and uh, what we'll do is we'll, uh, uh, we'll shut down the ESXi host and add um, three VNICs to it. Uh, these VNICs will be required uh, for uh, establishing the connection um, from the Nexus 1000V uh, uh, um, towards the uh, VEM modules. Right, so um, adding the VEM modules for adding the VEM modules on particular ESXi host uh, will be creating uh, uh, certain VNICs on the vCenter, um, uh, on the ESXi host configuration, and there we'll be using those VNICs. So it's better to have those added uh, once the installation is completed.
Okay, so it has booted up, and um, now we can log in into it using the IP and the uh, username root. So we have to press F2, username root, password, whatever we have set, right? Uh, once this is set, um, right now we can see that it is uh, uh, it has been assigned an IP of dot uh, one sixty, whereas the um, vCenter server is on one sixty one. So we go to um, uh, we press F two. We go to the config and network management network. We hit enter. We go to the IP configuration. We don't need VLANs. Uh, those are not required. Uh, right now we have a single VNIC. Uh, right? We can see that. Um, we go to the IP configuration. We hit enter again. Select static IP. And over here, you can um, just go with the same values. If you want to set it to a different value, we can do that as well. So right now, let's go with uh, .160 IP and um, hit enter, okay. Right, um, escape. It will ask to save the configuration and restart the network services, network management. So press yes or Y, and uh, it is all set. So now we are going to shut down the vCenter server. Uh, press F2, right? So it will shut down the vCenter uh, ESXi, sorry, ESXi host, and once it shut down, then uh, we'll be adding the vNix to it, right? And those will be um, using the same uh, uh, VM network, uh, VM net 8, vNet8, right? So we'll be using the same um, for all those three vNICs that we'll be adding. So now the server is shut down. Um, now we go to edit virtual machine settings. Here, um, we click on add. Uh, network adapter, you can add multiple things, but we need a network adapter. Uh, custom specific network, vMnet8, finish. Repeat the steps for other two um, NIC cards, NIC adapters. And and uh, we click OK. So now we power on the the ESX One virtual machine. So right now, um, the ESXi hypervisor is getting uh, booted up, loading all its modules, um, and when it, uh, the boot up completes, we'll be able to see the three Venix have also been added to it. Um, So now it has uh, put it up. Uh, we will log in into it. Press F2. Root password. Once we log in, configure management network. Okay, click on the network adapters, hit enter, and now we'll be able to see all the VNICs. We need to ensure that we are seeing all the four VNICs, right? One which has the management IP and the rest of the three VNICs are present in it, right? We need to ensure that we are able to see it. So we now go back. 
uh, we are done with the ESXi part. What we'll now do is we'll go to our vCenter server on the uh, vSphere client. We click on Add Host, enter the IP, 192.168.244.160. Uh, the username and password of the ESXi host. Click Next. Yes. We are able to see the VM. Add license, we can do with the, go with the evaluation license. Um, should be fine. Um, we'll have, we'll add the host to the existing data center. And finish. So we'll now see that. Uh, at the same time, you can also see the, um, the recent task window where it will show the progress um, of the task that we are performing. Right, so um, over here we are adding an ESXi host. It's really retrieving all the information and it's trying to connect to it. So once it's connected, it will become 100% and uh, we'll be able to access the um, ESXi host on it. Right, so it's completed and we can now see the ESXi host. And now if you want, you can create virtual machines on top of um, this ESXi host. And these all can be managed under the vCenter server. Um, you can manage the vCenter server from uh, uh, the web-based uh, GUI as well, but uh, you have to get, have that installed, uh, that feature installed. Um, that is uh, part of the individual server installation that I was talking about, um, it's not present here. Um, we can uh, manage this though with the vSphere client. Um, we'll be working around a lot uh, from the configuration tab of the CSXI host, uh, managing the networking, um, adding a couple of uh, important um, port groups or the port profiles, which are, uh, which we'll be needing for uh, um, the VSM installation, okay? So we are done with the ASXI installation, okay? We'll now proceed with the Nexus 1000V installation.